happy are men who yet before they're killed can let their veins run cold, whom no compassion fleers or makes their feet sore on the alleys cobbled with their brothers. The front line withers. But they are troops who fade, not flowers, for poets tearful fooling, men gaps fulfilling, losses who might have fought longer, but no one bothers. And some cease feeling, even themselves or for themselves. Dullness best solves the tease and doubt of shelling, and chances strange and In all my dreams, before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams you too could pace behind the wagon that we flung him in, and watch the white eyes writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil's sick of sin. If you could hear at every jolt the blood come gargling from the froth-corrupted lungs, obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud of vile, incurable sores on innocent tongues. My friend, you would not tell, with such high zest, to children ardent for some desperate glory, the old lie. Dulce et decorum est, pro patria mori. Happy the soldier home, with not a notion how somewhere, every dawn, some men attack, and many sighs are drained. Happy the lad whose mind was never trained. His days are worth forgetting more than not. He sings along the march, which we march taciturn because of dusk, the long, forlorn, relentless trend from larger day to huger night. We wise, who with a thought besmirch blood over all our soul, how should we see our task but through his blunt and lashless eyes? Alive he is not vital over much, dying not mortal over much, nor sad, nor proud, nor curious at all. Death was never enemy of ours. We laughed at him. We leagued with him, old chum. No soldiers paid to kick against his powers. We laughed, knowing that better men would come, and greater wars, when each proud fighter brags he wars on death for lives, not men for flags. <laughs> 